Welcome to Fostoke Channel. The Twins There once was a small family that consisted of twin brothers and their parents. The brothers were nine years old. They loved each other and had a very special bond. Their names were Sammy and Adam. Adam was taller and heavier than Sammy. Although Sammy was the older one, he looked younger because he was smaller and shorter than his twin brother. On the first day of school, Sammy and Adam's mother entered the room to wake them up. They were very excited about going to school, especially after the summer holiday. When the twins entered the class, the teacher separated them and assigned their seats far apart. Adam was shy and didn't talk much with his new classmates. He was easily distracted and got bored very quickly during the lessons. Sammy, on the other hand, was playful, social, hardworking, and was quick to form friendships and make many friends. And what made things worse was that the teachers and the students would always compare the two brothers. They would favor Sammy. Adam was bothered a lot by that and started to keep a distance from his brother. He tried not to be near him as much because he felt insignificant around him and everyone belittled his character and considered him lazy. Sammy felt sad, tried his best to make Adam love studying and working hard, but Adam would always respond with, Leave me alone! I don't like this school! They only love you, not me! They don't even see me! They only see you! Sammy didn't give up and would always talk to his mother. Their parents also tried to advise Adam, but none of their advice worked on him. Adam became very lonely. He didn't talk to anyone at home. One day, Adam was walking back home from school and saw an isolated spot in an oak tree. He climbed up the tree to sit at the top where nobody could find him. That became his favorite spot. One day, while Adam was sitting on the tree, he found a letter that said on the back, Do you need help? Adam thought that the letter was quite strange and said to himself, Nobody knows about this place except for me. I wonder who would like to help me. Adam opened the letter and it was addressed to him. Hello, Adam. I would like to help you be the person you want to be, but you have to follow my four tips in order to change. And to make sure that you're willing to change, please write back, I accept, so that I can send you a second letter tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Adam was excited and decided to follow the directives in the letter. The next day, Adam woke up and was eager to rush to his secret place. He climbed the tree and found the second letter, which said, Tip number one, you must enroll in the basketball team. I see you doing wonders for the team and becoming someone of great importance. Trust me. P.S. In order to get my next letter, you must first execute my first tip to the fullest. Adam went to school to enroll in the basketball team. A month passed after the first letter, and Adam excelled in the sport. Not only was he fast, he was also tall, which helped him a lot in becoming one of the most skilled players on the team. He also noticed that he had started losing weight, and his body was looking fit and in shape. Adam started to love going to school to play basketball. What helped him even more was that his coach relied on him a lot and always praised him. Adam went to his favorite place once again to see whether there was another letter. And lo and behold, there was another letter encouraging him to invite his friends 
Fred and Harry, to go to the zoo on the weekend after getting his parents' permission. He was hesitant at first because he had never invited anyone anywhere before. But he was excited about receiving the next letter. So he asked his parents' permission and they agreed. He later approached Fred and Harry after finishing team training and asked if they wanted to go to the zoo. They agreed straight away to go with him and were very nice and polite. They had a lovely time at the zoo and Adam started hanging out with them at recess and in between classes. He also made more friends. By now, he had many friends from his class and his team. Adam was now busy with his friends and didn't go to the tree very often. But one day, he remembered and went to read the next letter. And the third letter said, Please pay attention to your study as well. You've become fit and have lots of friends, but now you have to work hard to get better and better. Adam started to think about why he had to study. He really didn't like studying. But why not study hard, since his life had changed a lot after following these tips? He had to focus on his studies as well. Adam did not go out with friends whenever he had exams or homework, and he excelled in his studies. Adam's life had changed for the better after following the letter's advice. And when he went to see what more tips the tree had for him, he found a letter that said, You should get closer to your parents and brother. Don't you miss playing with your brother? I know he misses you and would love you to be with him. Adam went home and watched his mother and how she prepared food while murmuring, Dinner must be ready before the twins come home. They'll be hungry. Adam was very moved because he has not been helping his mother. Rather, he would be upset when food was late and he had not been taking her advice, although she always cared for him and the family. Adam went to his mother, hugged her, kissed her, and asked her to forgive him. Mother, I know I was stubborn, but I love you a lot. Adam went to their room, where they both studied and found beautiful photos on their desk, which he had never noticed before. A photo of him and his brother playing in the sand at a beach. Adam's eyes teared up. He stood there waiting for Sammy to come. And when he came, Adam hugged him and apologized to him for how distant he had been from him. They sat down and talked about all the stories and the incidents that had happened to them in the past. They spent all night talking. Adam went to the tree to see if there were any more letters, and he found one that said, You are now a different and better person. The mission is accomplished, and this is the final letter. Adam felt sad and said, I wonder who wrote these letters. Please tell me who you are. Adam wrote in the letter, Please let me thank you. Let me meet you. The next day, Adam found a letter that said, Go home. I'll be sitting on your bed. So he hurried to his room. But he didn't find a stranger there. Instead, he found his brother Sammy sitting there. Adam said, I don't understand. Why are you here? Is it possible that it was you? Sammy looked at his brother in a friendly way and said, Yes, it was I who wrote you those letters. I found it to be the best way to reach you after no spoken advice had worked on you. So I planned all this to help you change. I hope that you could listen to someone else's advice. Adam hugged Sammy and said, Oh, you're truly the best and finest friend I've ever had. My friends, you should know that no one will love you like your family does. Trust them and listen to their advice. And be sure that your parents and siblings 
care about your success more than anyone else has or ever will. If you like this story, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.